guys, and today, guys, I am bringing you Forza Horizon 3, Episode 6. Now, if you guys remember back in Episode, I believe it was 3, we got to unlock a new area, um, and the choice was between Service Paradise or this vineyard area, which is known as Yara Valley. Now, we're going to get to unlock this, guys, today. Uh, I just passed the 2 million fan mark, and we're going to go ahead and unlock Yara Valley. Come see me at our new Yarra Valley location. If and when you get tired of the roads around here, that is. The Yarra Valley. Hills and fields and forests. Cross-country racing to your heart's content. And today, guys, I'm also in the Warthog. Yes, that is right. I am in the Warthog today. Um, I got this. And as well, before we head over there... There is a barn find right over here. I got a rumor about it, and before and uh, before I filmed this, I went ahead and I found it, but I haven't actually gone over and got it yet. I just wanted to make sure that we could go ahead and get it really nice and quick. That way, we have it done and out of the way. So, it's right here. Might as well just go ahead and grab it. I just heard fireworks outside, outside right my now. apartment. Ooh. 73 Falcon XB, 5.8 liter V8. Main Not a huge fan of the muscle cars, as you guys know, but oh man, that looks <laughs> that looks pretty nice. Next up, Rolling Green. Now, before we uh, yeah, go any sorry farther. About that outburst. It's an Australian thing. I'll get it cleaned up and report back. I'm going to go ahead and I have to go back into my settings because while I'm just playing on my own, I do like to listen to the radio a little bit. Uh, however, though, in these videos, I'm not allowed to have it. Otherwise, it can't get uploaded. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off now. Or at least. Even if uh, I'm the one that's trying to upload, I'm making the content and all that. Unfortunately, I'm not able to monetize it myself. And what's going on is the people that make the music are monetizing my videos, and I I just don't feel right about that. That doesn't. Where I'm all for like you know the music industry making their money. You know I don't really like the idea of people stealing songs and all that. Uh, but the fact that they're sort of taking my content and monetizing it, that sort of makes me upset a little bit. Because right now, I'm not even monetized. My channel is not monetized, but they went ahead and monetized Turn me. Around when it is safe to do and so. that just, it, it bothers me a little bit. Anyway, we're on our way over here. It's about 2.4 miles. Uh, but we got this Warthog, which I have tuned it up a little bit. There's not really a whole lot of upgrades other than just wheels and tires, I think. Or, ooh, that would be a great sun jump right there. And, uh, I got it up to go 125. I think the normal max speed is 116 on it. And honestly, with my tune, I'm going to go ahead and upload it for you guys. It has been doing everything, at least in the pro section. Uh, so, you guys can go ahead and check that out. At least, you know, pro on Outback. It has been doing really well. Uh, there's a couple races where, you know, some of the other cars are faster and there's a lot more straights and all that. Ooh. In a tree. <laughs> and it's going to put me out on the closest. No, it didn't. It didn't put me on the closest road. Alright, guys. We are here at Yara Valley now, it looks like. And, of course, they, they put one guardrail. So you can't go straight across it from the outback. Now, this is a nice big open field. I was watching another channel, and they said this one was probably the biggest out of all of them. And if you kind of look at the world map a little bit, it is the one that's in the middle. So I think this is originally supposed to, this is becomes your main one. Um, but, we do get a pretty nice option of cars coming up here. 
Achievement unlocked, Screaming Through the Valley. Open a festival in Yara Valley. 20 gamer score. Voila, Horizon Yarra Valley. Rolling hills, green fields, lush forests. I knew Australia was pretty, but now I think it's just showing off. All right, so now we get to pick our free car. This Horizon Festival just gets bigger and bigger, doesn't it? You're going to need some new wheels just to get around the place. And we get to pick an amazing supercar. Now, let's see. We got this one at 290. I do have a 458, though, so I'm almost leaning against the 488 for now. Uh, the California uh, 240, I really don't really want the California. The 512, from, you know, it's a pretty good option. Then you have the Huracan 240. But then you have the Aventador at 310. So the Huracan and the Aventador are probably my two favorites out of the list. And I think both of them get uh, Liberty Walk kits. But I think for now, I'm going to go ahead and choose the Lamborghini Aventador LP700-4. <sighs> and we're going to put a Liberty Walk kit on this. Because you know how we do. Let's look at some of these designs. Ooh. That's a Doctor Who design. Now, I did follow this guy's, um, you know, his showroom because he makes a lot of good designs. Shout out to you, Froggy6970. Really appreciating your designs. Uh, there's the Liberty Walk kit with a Dubai Police. And somebody's put up a lot of uh, Tron designs, it looks like. And a Liberty Walk Shark. That's actually pretty cool, too. But I think for now, what I'm going to do is this Doctor Who design. I love Doctor Who, guys. It is such a good series. I, I can sort of see the logo in the background. Oh. They did a nice angel. Now, it's not the greatest design in the world, guys, but it is still a pretty good design. Um, I think it could be done a little bit better, uh, but it's probably restricted by the layer count. Uh, anyway, I think this is what we're going to choose for now. Oh, it's taken a while to save. Again, that saving feature, God. Now, I really wish there was like collaboration because you can make this so much better by like adding a little bit of uh, vignette around it. All that sort of stuff. Anyway, we're gonna back out of here. We're going to go into upgrades, and we're going to go ahead and upgrade this car. Now, again, like I've said, with the Lexus, you go into cost conversion, body kit, and boom, Liberty Walk. Now, it didn't add the wing on there, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, I don't necessarily really want that wing. I'm going to take a look at it really quickly. So there's the Liberty Walk wing. <sighs> again, I really don't like the size of their wings. And then there's the Forza wing which I honestly do like a lot better. But I want to keep this thing wingless. I think it looks so much better that way. So for now, that's what we're going to do. And one cool feature, though, is in this game, they have allowed it so that on your wheels and all that, uh, stock wheels are paintable, I believe. As you notice, those are the stock wheels. They're painted black. Really nice addition, I think. So... We're going to go ahead and upgrade this bad boy up a little bit. Just uh, keep on going. I might change the design later on because now that I'm sort of thinking about it, it's not, it's not really feeling on me just a little bit. I love Doctor Who and all that, but mm, I'm still kind of thinking about it. I almost am wondering if I just want to keep the the Lamborghini just pure 
the light blue color of the Aventador. Maybe work on eventually making a replica of the Liberty Walk Aventador that is out there, the light blue one. You guys can Google it if you want to. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to... No, I'm going to change up the wheels. Again, those ADV1 wheels with the Liberty Walk and uh, Rocket Bunny Kids, they look so good. So, so good. I'm not going to upgrade the tire size at all. They're already pretty pretty good size. Um, I'm just going to throw on some power as it's already an S2. It's pretty much a hyper car. And we're going to go ahead and buy it for a total of 84000 Ooh, that hurts just a little bit. But some wheel spins will be able to make that back really quickly. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys. I did win this car as well through another body on it. I think it's from the same designer that uh, the last one was. And what the... The design's gone. Interesting. Uh, that's a glitch right there. We'll see if it happens again. Cause maybe he took it down. I don't know. Something's going on. Yeah. I'll have to look into that, guys. It looks like there's another small glitch right there. You know, you guys can see the design. It's for some sort of video game I've never really heard of. Um, it kind of looked like Star Wars to me, which is why I downloaded it originally. But it's not. Um, see, I also won this car here. Um, well, I threw a design and I threw a tune on. I'm going to throw the tune up onto the storefront and the design later on. Uh, I sort of like it. I was going for like a racing theme. Uh, there's only about four designs out there for it, so we'll go ahead and throw that up. Uh, I also did a design for this car. Now, this one you guys get for upgrading, I believe it is to number five, number four of the Surfers Paradise. You get a nice little track day car. I did this Coca-Cola design. It's got a pretty decent amount of downloads on it. Um, go through, just keep looking at some new cars I've gotten. I, I think I showed you guys the Super Sport in the last episode. The Holden still glitched. Uh, I did win a KTM Crossbow as well um, from a roll I won a lot of cars this last time with uh, a roll won this, the C63 S Coupe. Uh, this is what you guys get for the, uh, whoops, move from favorites. I, I don't have any favorites, guys. I will later on, but for now, I still need to figure it out. There's no design yet for it. Oh, I got in it by accident. Okay. But you don't get to keep the nice race design that was already on it. Um, oh, since it was just new and I viewed it. Okay, that's what it was. Uh, we got this. I still need to go ahead and upgrade it. It is the lowest class I think you can get. <laughs> and that's about it for the cars that I've gotten. Uh, barn finds again. Uh, we've got this one. This one is taking a long time to get uh, redone, the Ferrari 166. Because I think it was like the second or third one we found. And I've got both of those already. And this one's already at rust and damage repair. They're still stripping the body on this one. So it's going to be a while. Okay. Updating your map with our initial scouting reports. Looks very promising. Let's see. I need to earn 606,000 more fans until I get to expand it again. Now, if we go ahead and back out here into the world map, I have been doing a lot of the events out here, just trying to clear it up. I think I've got two events left um, as well. Uh, there's also a driver down here. I think we're going to go try and find him today. And then we got so many events still at Surfers Paradise, even though I'm, because I'm level 5, going to try and finish those up off camera. Uh, 
So we'll go ahead and keep yards. working. Turn sharp right. Turn sharp right. Now later on guys, I think I am going to do like a video series on the auction house and on designs and stuff like that. 150, let's see how many stars did I get. Just one. But we earned 86,000 fans. Guys, that is insane. Especially compared to like, I think at the beginning we were only making like 5,000 fans at a time. But now I'm like, you know, going through here, I hit 150, I get one star, I got 86,000 fans. And there's probably still another 100,000 or so, or there's probably 100,000 total fans available from this one stunt. Now I don't want to hit that guy, I just want to see if we can hit two stars. 188. See that? Oh my god, this thing went flying. Boss, I'm giving wow. you three stars out of three. Take it easy. 37,000 fans just for getting three stars. That's ridiculous, guys. That means that there was like 120,000 fans for that stunt. And it looks like there's another one directly in front of us. So we're gonna. Must have missed it. Ooh, I see what it's right here. It's a stun jump. Okay, so get some speed from the road. Not yet. Little off target. Just gonna fix that. <clears throat> Dang it, we failed it. Let's back up here. Try and make sure that we land this. Let's see, did we get all the stars? Only two stars, oh my gosh. 106,000 fans. I think we're gonna go ahead and try that again really quickly. See if we can get any more fans. Or at least figure out how many, how fast we need to go to try and get that. Because I feel like it's going to be like a thousand feet or something like that in order to get three stars. Or maybe we were so close, maybe it was like 850. But we don't know yet. So we're, I'm going to back up a little bit farther than I did the first time. And we're going to head down here again. Whoops, off target again. Dang, we're actually a little slower, looks like. Hmm, we're gonna get this, guys. Eight thirty. 
new record. Still two stars. 69 more feet. So it looks like what we got to do is we have to hit 900 feet, which means we got to get a little bit more speed to go. Yep. I just said it on the island. It's not there. That's where it should have been. That's where I said it. Mom maybe put it in your bathroom. I don't know. Did you check in your room? Yeah. I have no clue. Um, I think... Mom's probably asleep. Um... Hmm. I don't know. If you need to, you can borrow some of mine. Alright guys, I am back now, so we're going to go ahead and continue this, heading back up this way. going to go even farther. I think we're going to go all the way to the next PR stunt that I see right there in the distance. see how much does this get us 818 now I think I know what happened there guys I hit that uh, pole and I think that slowed me down a little bit so we're gonna try and avoid the pole 180 miles an hour 867 it's record but it's not the record we want I wonder if it's possible to close like jump this entire thing Because we're already at 180 here. And that slowed it, hitting that pole slowed us down to 156. So we're definitely going to try and avoid the pole. Ooh, the pole's gone. <laughs> That's nice. Keep off target. 191. Now, I'm going to try going a little bit at an angle because it looks like I hit that and that's what stopped me. I would have gone so much farther if I would have just been a little bit farther over. So we're going to go ahead and try that for a second. Over top that tree. 883. I don't know if we're going to be able to hit it, guys, at least right now. 16 more feet to go. I think we'll be able to hit it, but I don't want to waste any more of, you guys, of your guys' time. So we're going to go ahead and move on from here. We're going to head up to that other PR stunt, which looks like it's a bucket list. Now, if you guys notice, there are different shapes for the PR stunts. If it's shaped like this one, it means it's a bucket list. Where if it's sort of shaped squarish, let's see if I have any undiscovered ones. I think I got some over here. Like this, it means it's a drift zone or it's a app or something like that so we're gonna go ahead go ahead and do this bucket list it looks like up here wonder what event this will be Ooh, there's an xp sign down there might have to go after it you know what i think this might be i think this might be the jump it might be another car and be like hey make a jump in in Nissan okay we're gonna go ahead and get this started on the way yards, turn right. yep this is a stunt jump just like I thought
have to beat 500 feet. So this is going to be probably a pretty easy one since we already were getting like 900 feet. Oops, I almost missed it. Yep, and it's, oh man, we, we hit that. I'm gonna back it up a little bit so that we guys, that we can actually get this off the way. We've got a little bit of a turn. Let's see if that affects it. Made it. Alright. That would be 97,000 fans right there. Not too shabby. Oi, got your XB Falcon down here, ready to pick up. Ooh, looks like we got the next car that's underway. Still, again, no, no word on the Ferrari. Anyway, what I think I'm going to he head off and do next is I think I'm going to drive down here. Not to that place, but to go find the next guy. Yards, right. And it's 6.7 miles, guys, so it'll be a little while. Uh, it gives us plenty of time to talk, or uh, if I run out of things to say, of course, then I will go ahead and fast forward. So, let's see. I'm really hoping to get that Huracan. Or one of these Horizon Edition cars from one of the wheel spins. But they are so rare, I guess. I mean, I don't know if you guys have been checking out the auction house at all for those who have the Ultimate Edition already and anyone else out there. But these Horizon Edition cars, the buyout prices are like five and a half mil. I don't think anybody really has five and a half mil except for the people that have gotten those Horizon Edition cars. Um, because I think the record. Great. I think one of the cars normally I've been seeing them around a mill after the starting bids and all that. Whoops. Should have turned left. And I just hit that. But I got a fast travel board. That's nice. Ooh, there's a lot for Ari, it looks like. catch up to it, I'll go ahead and take a picture. Alright, so we got the La Ferrari covered. Uh, six more until we get the next upgrade on our thing. Because I know back in like Horizon 2, it was like after 320,000, I know I was collecting 100,000 credits. I don't know if it's going to sort of go up at all, be like from 10,000 to 100,000. Because right now it doesn't, it didn't upgrade. I thought it was supposed to upgrade maybe to like 20,000 or something. But we'll find out. Ooh, I'm losing control. And that is why you put a wing on normally. But I don't like the look of it, so... Alright, so we're gonna head off. And then you see there's that credit guy. Maybe we'll do one of those credit races up. I can show you how much money you guys can make just from racing them. Which is actually quite a lot. I think, um, I did one, I got like 60,000. So just by doing these, and they're everywhere. So you could honestly just sort of uh, do all those for money. Um, now one thing though is that they have those uh, street races. I don't know if they get any better rewards, but when I did them, I, I, it was like I was just doing a normal race um, for credit wise and XP wise, but I didn't get any fans is the issue. Left. 
turn left. In 200 yards, turn right. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Alright, I saw him up here. Yep, there he is. He's in a truck. So this will be an easy win, guys, I think. I'll probably even stick to the roads and all that. Just because I know I can easily beat it. Now, one thing I have noticed, though, is, like, they sort of disappear sometimes. So, like, I'm not even racing him right now. He's just gone. And this is, like, exactly the first race from the beginning, I think. Recalculating route. We just crashed right there. No, this isn't. This is racing to Byron Bay. But yeah, I've noticed that they just sort of disappear on you. And like now I'm in first. I just won it. The the avatar disappeared. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, hopefully they get it fixed because it's sort of unfair. But you do get the driver charge pretty easily. So let's see. Time to get rid of DJ. Bye bye. I have now fired all of my friends except for HB3, who's not really someone I talk to regularly because I guess he he's a professional football player. I I just friended him because I was on his Twitch stream. Apparently, I won 10 million credits. I don't know. We'll we'll figure that out later on. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Ooh, there's an XP board around here. Where is it? Where is it? But it's hidden. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drum mode it. There it is. Five thousand XP, guys. Ooh, we leveled up in time for a new spin. All right. So now we go over here into progress. Got our wheel spin. Could win a Lamborghini Mercy. Lamborghini Mercy. We pick up one hundred and fifty thousand credits. Now I'm gonna collect it. I'm gonna spin again because we got one hundred and fifty. So that's actually three spins. 7,000. I think I'm only going to go for another spin unless I get another 50,000. Or a car. I might go for another one. There we go. Another 100. I'll go for a third spin, guys. We'll see what we get. And 40,000. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and collect it. Now it looks like we might have enough. Yes, we do. Permanent 10% increase in event finish XP. We're going to go ahead and unlock that. Level up just a little bit faster. Next one, we need 10 more, and then 15 more, and then we need 20. Maybe off screen, guys, I'll head over to the uh, airport and I will go ahead and do a. Uh, go ahead and do some drifting just to get some more skill points. Uh, now then, what else is there to do right now? Um, you know what, guys? I think we'll do one of these street races. In 400 yards, and I'll, I'll show you guys what I mean by like the lack of credits and all that. You know, it's one thing I don't understand though is that also, like, you see all these fences are breakable. Oh, what is this? I'm gonna take a look at this. It's a Ford Fiesta. Now, 
I believe civilian cars count. Yes, they do. Ford Fiesta ZX S. So that's actually the sport model. They did add a lot more of these cars into the game. Uh, I've seen some Mercedes, Audis, Fords, all kinds of things. Uh, we're going to go ahead and whoops, exit photo mode. Well, I've got a lot of XP, or a lot of skill points, sort of bottled up. At the roundabout, take the first exit. You have arrived at your destination. Byron Town Throwdown. Because I thought the point of these was that they were supposed to be more money, because it's supposed to be high risk. It, it isn't, though. Yeah, guys, I, I'm not really feeling this design. I think I'm going to go ahead and change it. Now, I guess one glitch that's been going on for a lot of people is that... Did you guys see that? I just hit someone. And they were like a rock. Is that people's tunes are changing for these. Making it more difficult to actually complete them. Like I guess some people have been... Yeah, like see. I think honestly. I wonder if I can actually access... No, I can't access my tune right now. I'm going to go ahead and check that out afterwards. Because I don't think it's that I'm just a bad driver at this. I think what it is is it's the tune. Because a lot of people have been saying that, you know, camber's been going up and braking has been decreased significantly. Like, I mean, look at that. I will brake, like, here. Or maybe that was too much. And of course, getting bullied. Got that guy on my corner. Whoops. Got too much speed on that. But I mean, considering the fact that this is an all-wheel drive car, and I'm just spinning, I mean, that tells you something. I think it is, like, glitching out where the tune is changing. In fact, I didn't even put a tune on this. But as you guys saw, like, when I was just playing, I was doing perfectly fine. I don't know, it's just weird stuff's going on, guys. This game is not done. And also watch this. Those guys both just missed it. And I'm going to go ahead and restart the event, guys. And now I'm going to go take a look at the tune, see what's going on. See if it will change or not.
Yeah, I had zero camber on it before, and now I put camber on. And also, it's supposed to be stiff. Alright, now let's see how we do. I can already tell this car feels a lot better just from changing that tune up. But I'm still drifting, which is weird. I think in these events, the game almost wants you to be driving like an a-hole. As you guys see, like, I mean, I'm trying, like, it's also dark, which is kind of difficult. Sometimes you can't necessarily see where you're supposed to be going. I mean, I have, like, I have ABS on. But it's like locking up, like it's off, which is weird. I don't understand what, why it keeps doing that. And did you guys just see that? I just got bullied again. Now I, I sort of did the same thing exactly to him before. Uh, I'm sorry guys for all the rewinding. But, I mean, like, fifth place, it, it's not helping that much. They are making these ones, like, really, really tough. Like, I mean, I feel like I need to go down to expert for these ones. It, it's sort of crazy bad. 
And you can see, I got 11,000 credits. 5,000 XP and no fans. It's, it's really not worth it, to be honest. I don't recommend doing them, guys. Just stick to the normal events. Um, of course, you're probably going to have to do them. To get, like... Ooh, another barn find. About another dusty old barn with another abandoned classic in it. Now, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna fast travel up here. And then afterwards, guys, I think I might call in an episode after I go ahead and find it. And then we will go ahead and see what else there is. Maybe, like, we find it and we get another barn find or something like that. That'd be nice. Uh, doubtful, though. Back out here in the outback. Looks like it's over by the Pink Lakes is where they were marked at. Whoa, that was a nice air. But I mean, just look at the sky. You can make out the moon. And you can tell it's in a different phase. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead into drone mode. It's going to be kind of hard to find at night, but we're going to go ahead and try it. No lights, no nothing. Oh, not that hard. <laughs> Found it, guys. It's actually pretty easy to find. I wonder what car this one's gonna be. Barn hunting and a Lamborghini. Now let's listen to what Warren has to say about whatever car it is. Best part of my job, right here. Ooh. Old Land That's Cruiser, cute. nice. You can't kill a Land Cruiser. They kept bringing out new models, but they really shouldn't have bothered. All the ones from the 70s are still running fine. Well, he, he said they're all running fine and they're all uh, working great. I honestly think that, you know, what they should have done as a I'll joke you know is it. they should have had him walk up to it uh, and start it. Now then we're going to drive back over here and go pick up the Ford Falcon. I'll show you guys in that car. See, one thing that I find kind of interesting, though, is they keep changing the story for Forza. I'm for surprise, and anyway, I'm wondering what they're going to do for the next one. Because, you know, they made you the boss before you were just like a, uh, you were just a punk with his Volkswagen Corrado. And then you just barely made it in time to join the festival and be a part of the racing. And then Forza Horizon 2, uh, you were like the returning champ or something, I think. But one thing that I actually really liked, though, was that, uh, during the races, you had, like, the little punks who were like, Hey, you won't beat me. 
And then they finally put their car on the line, and you get their car, which was nice. So let's see. Picking up the Ford Falcon. With this much horsepower, XB. you will rule the wasteland. I asked the Horizon people if I could put on some spikes and crossbows and a flamethrower, but they said no. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's a Mad Max reference. Um... Oh, that is, that's pretty. And now that I saw that it has the, uh, we're going to go ahead and get in it for a second. think yes it does it does have a body kit upgrade however though it is going to be just a hood I think I'm gonna throw that on there they got that hood which I, I think these hood ideas were just terrible I don't know why they put them in the game originally but then there we go that is what I was looking for I noticed though that they're different from car to car the the blowers are so we're gonna go ahead and throw that on I'm gonna put some sh I think I'm gonna make this a rally car guys just because Mad Max all that that one a little bit bigger and then we're gonna blow that one up just a little bit I wish the tires were a little bit wider on this one like I wish that because if you look in there they're kind of tucked in there I wish they came out a little bit more uh, that'd be nice but maybe with the height it'll fix it Got some height on it. Now I think all as well I'm going to do this. I'm going to make it all wheel drive. I know it's not really intended for that, but whatever. It, it's Forza. It's fictional. I mean, you can drive a Warthog in this game. Here we go. Now let's go check out the paints. Uh, if not, I think I might put a rust paint on this and then I'll upload it uh, and show it to you guys later on. Um, let's see if anybody has put like any cool designs on here. Some flames. Everybody's got a Mad Max design for this thing. Ooh, there we go. You know what? I, I think I'm going to check out this, guys. You know, because it is Mad Max. We'll pay homage to it. Uh, I Now that I'm looking at it, though, this design might not actually be all that great. <sighs> we'll go ahead and view it. Yeah, it's not all that great, guys. I probably could have done a much better job at it. So we're going to go ahead and, for now, designs and paints. I think I want to do a semi gloss black. We'll go 
go ahead and throw on a carbon fiber hood. Make these carbon fiber. Some black wheels. Black windows. Save to current car. Takes forever to save in this game. I, I just I don't understand it. Anyway guys, I think that's going to be it for today anyway on episode 6. So join me next time. I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am with this. Um, make sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash gur413. As well on YouTube which can be found in the channel description below. And at twitch.com if you're over on YouTube or twitch.tv forward slash gur413. Uh, which should be down in the description as well. Uh, Anyway, again, hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. Uh, have a good day and peace.